Hey guys, how's it going? YBG Ghost here and welcome to episode 2 of our Pro Clubs Draft Let's Play on FIFA 16 and we have the team right here in front of us. Uh, so without further ado, let's get this one started. Uh, sitting in at right, striker is radiated, client free in cam. We've got Spartacus 007991, uh, left centre midfield we've got Jigga D Gundrilla and EXQ Mares is sitting at right centre midfield. Now, the more astute of you may have noticed that we have a little sly sneaky one who has uh, crept his way into the team here and uh, introducing YBG Griffin, who will be sitting at goalkeeper. Now, the same as me, YBG members will not count towards the stats or anything like that. We may get guest appearances from one at a time. Uh, we won't be flooding the team with them, obviously. That is left for you guys to fill in the gaps. But, yes, guest appearances will be present. So, YBG Griffin is here for this episode. He should have actually been in the first episode, but uh, he had like, a power cut or something. But, anyway... On to our first game now, and uh, we started very, very strongly indeed. Just after four minutes, uh, this happened. Chance from the pass. Hey. Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the How long did you want to leave that? Is he good? Ooh, eh, eh. Right now. Yes, our first goal was scored by Radiated Client Free. Now, there was actually a reason for him uh, taking so long for the shot. It was because shortly after he got lagged out, uh, look how close we were to scoring there. Yes, so Radiated Client, and this happened a few times. He gets lagged out quite a lot. So we're going to see what we can do about maybe getting him in again. But I win a penalty here and... Take that yellow. Come on, right. let's miss our first penalty. Oh, hey. Come on. Yes, excuse my scepticism, guys, but I have had some bad luck with penalties in this game. I know that one wasn't particularly high and wide in the corner, but the ones, even when I do smash it into the corners, uh, they seem to get saved by the keeper. But we did go in at half-time, 2-0 uh, up, and uh, I decided to have a team talk with the guys and sort of keep morale at its highest, so I said this. Guys, just want to say that uh, our keeper's really dodgy, right? So... Oh, suck a dick, guys. <laughs> and uh, all I can say is it, it clearly worked. My managerial prowess uh, led to this happening. Oh, go on. Oh, no. Ooh, that's close. Yeah, that was good. There it is. Well played, lad. Can you see what happens when you keep spirits high? That's the key. Keeping your team happy. And, uh, yeah, that led us to put on so much pressure that we scored a goal. And this is going completely unedited, guys. Uh, as you can see here, they're running into our half and they immediately lose the ball. Spartacus is on the run. He plays it. A lovely little chip through, through ball to me. And... He's on his way now. One. Hey. And there it is, the goal. <laughs> well, that's a... Yes, a dirty, filthy bit of sweat. But guys, as I have said, my goals do not count. So when I have the opportunity to play it to someone else whose goals do count, I will take that. And Mares gets his second goal for the club, uh, putting us 4-0 in the lead. And our pressure is nowhere near done. Uh, we were absolutely all over them in this game. And I chose to cut in past that guy. And I really shouldn't have. Uh, but then... Oh, I'm going to get kicked out. I actually am getting kicked out. Oh, look. It Yeah, whee! Well done, FIFA. So I had to watch the rest of the game from the lobby. But guys, luckily, there were no more goals scored. And we did carry on to win 4-0. So then it was on to our second game of uh, this episode. And I don't know if you remember my motivational speech of the previous game. I mean, it, it's hard not to, really, because it was such a good speech. But um, here we go. In with the chance. Brilliant, Griffin. Keeper! Brilliant save. What a beast. YBG Griffin, hang your head in shame, son. But luckily, we had what it took up top, and uh, this happened. Oh, he's true. Here's an opportunity, maybe. And shoots! And that's the goal that's brought them level. Me once again setting up my bro, Mares, with a. Uh, a dirty, filthy sweat goal. So we brought it back to 1-1. And after we'd scored that goal, I really couldn't see anything going wrong with us whatsoever. He's got his shot off now. Goal! Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> oh my god! Brilliant save. Griff. 
I could not have got touched in. You're aware that this is on YouTube, goalkeeper. right? Oh dear. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt because it did come off the post and uh, we know that those ones are pretty hard for a goalkeeper to save even though his player did seem like he was right underneath it. But now we have three chances. The first here, me doing a little bit of skill outside the area, just waiting for space. Jigger makes it and oh, hits it off the left post. Uh, I think that's Radiated's player. He got lagged out again. Uh, they're hitting it at the goalkeeper. I do some more skill cutting in from the wing as I love to do. Playing it to Jigger again and he hits the other post. How unlucky can one guy get? And uh, that's how it went at half time. So 2-1 down. We really needed to change something in the second half. And that we did just seven minutes in. A lovely bit of play here. Radiated's player chipping it into me. And Come on, lad. Shoots. Come on. Up, uh, it's yeah. an own goal. It's an own goal, apparently. Goal. Well, it can happen to anybody that... He's being consoled by his team. What an own goal. Uh, what an own goal it was. Didn't touch anyone. What an own goal. Yes, the first thing you even think in your mind before anything else, as soon as you see a shot like that, own goal. Definitely an own goal. Oh dear. But yes, we thought that we had taken the lead here. Uh, with this AI header, but no, you look straight up in the top left hand corner like, huh? Is it? No, it, it's sadly offside. Uh, they came close, but Griffin this time proving his worth with a lovely save. But then... Mains. It could be a chance! Oh, it's guys, a it's goal. A Get it! Yeah. moment for the football club because they are closing... Yes, 3-2 up we were. You know, I had to wait for a few seconds after that goal just to make sure uh, that it wasn't an own goal because there was a player within uh, two metres of me. So that could have been yet another own goal, but... No, we did go on to win it and go up into Division 9. Hooray! On to our third game we go, and could we make it three out of three? We couldn't last time. Uh, here we are on the attack, and this team brought their keeper out loads, and you thought that would have made it easier, but it took us flipping ages uh, to get, get a good shot on target. Look at this. Saved by that defender, but then... <laughs> Jay, shot's on here. Oh, yay! Yay! The goalkeeper, and under the bar, brilliant chip goal. It's only taken 45 minutes. Yes, Spartacus breaks the deadlock on the cusp of halftime, putting us 1-0 up with a lovely chipped goal over the keeper after so many failed attempts. Uh, a lot from me, but we won't talk about that. And we do go in 1-0 up at halftime, and in the second half, the 66th minute, this happened... Yes, what a lovely bit of luck that was for me. I would not have minded that a single bit if it would have landed at the feet of one of our actually playing players. But no, it landed at our lagged out friend Radiated's feet and... Uh, so that cannot count as his goal. Neither would have that have done if it had have gone in. But the keeper saves it anyway. Uh, but then this happened. Well, we can catch it. The shot's on. <laughs> <laughs> Spartacus bags himself his second goal of the game and puts us surely out of reach of the opposing team with this 3-0 lead. And could it be three wins in three, lads? I blooming well hope so, but we did get another chance. Spartacus with it could have got his hat trick. The goalkeeper saves it, and that is it, guys. Three out of three wins. That is fantastic. Our second game in, and we have not lost yet. That is so good. Uh, you know, to think of people that you haven't met just coming together and being able to gel enough. A clean sheet for Griffin. So, uh, you know, that's two for him, although it will not count in the stats. Uh, now, guys, I actually remembered to look at the squad beforehand. So, uh, here is the squad now. Uh, and we will add it to the table in a second. So, Mares, our top scorer of this episode with three goals. Two for Spartacus and one assist each for him and Jigger. And here's how it looks. Uh, put into the stats table. Matty, as you can see, still at the top of the leaderboard with his four goals and one assist. Mares underneath him uh, with three goals, no assists, and Spartacus with two 
for one. Jigger Twisted, Denzi, and the whole school all on one assist each. I haven't included the defense and goalkeeping ones for this episode because we didn't have any defending players and a YBG member was our goalkeeper. Now, some of you may be wondering what we're going to do about Radiated because, to be honest, in my eyes, it was not fair that he got lagged out of all three games and therefore was not able to get any goals or assists while he was actually playing. So we will sort something out with that. He may make another appearance. Uh, I think that's fair, although it's four people an episode. This one was effectively just three. So yes, uh, we are going to try and get you back in Radiated. Uh, I've added him and everything, so we're in contact. So we'll let you know how that progresses. But right now, we're going to leave you with the goal of the episode as usual. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like and subscribe. But apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.